Hey guys, this is Sakib. Welcome to Baby Themes widget tutorial. Today, we'll talk about the Fluent Slider widget by Prime Slider plugin. The Fluent Slider is designed to show posts as the primary view with a post thumb list on the left side. Due to the structure of this slider, it is already the best tool for blogging websites. Here's the scroll bar button at the bottom and the navigation arrows on the right side of it. The slider has stationed the social media buttons at the right end. From layout, you can choose custom dimension from the slider. Remember, the width height ratio is 16 by 9. Then you can set a minimum height for the whole slider using this scroll bar. Adjust the image size to preserve the resolution. While at it, adjust more image properties from the background settings. Right after that, there are a number of switchers that can show or hide specific items from the slider, including title, date, text, etc. For example, turn on the show text switcher and see the post description appear below the titles. There's also a text limiter option available here. Lastly, the alignment option for the title and the rest of the text for the featured post. On the next section, you get to set the span duration and section ID for the scroll down button. Next, you will have the social share icon section to onboard as many social links as you want on the slider. Just click on the add item, add a title, link and select an icon. That's all. From the query section, you can select the source for the slider as well as limit the number of posts on the side tab or the thumb tab. The last section is for customizing the animation for the slider. These are options like loop, autoplay, speed, and Ken Burns animation. Just flip the switcher and see how it's done. Let's move on to the style tab. The first thing you will see is an overlay option for the slider background. It works like this. Pick a color and play with the opacity. Below, there are 5 subsections to customize title, text, category, meta, and date. Let's pick a different color for the title, then a little deeper color for the text, from the next section, let's pick a color for the thumb scroll. Here's the post list paired on the slider. Then change the hover color of the social media icons from here. The scroll down widget has an animation color which is marked as the secondary color. Lastly, the hover color of the arrows goes yellow. That's how easily you can customize the Fluent Slider to make a unique slider design on your home page. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.